Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm not going to talk about medical conditions, uh, but instead I'm going to share a story with you, which is actually a ghost story. So it's a story that I heard several years ago, but I found it really interesting. Uh, it's not, you know, medical related, but it happened in a medical setting. So uh, I want to share this story with you. Now, before we start, if you're really scared or if you're under 18, then I'll ask you to switch it off and go and do something else, okay? Uh, but if you want to listen to this story as an entertainment value uh, or you're just interested anyway, then stay tuned, okay? Just want to say that this, I can't confirm that it's a real event. It's some, something that someone told me. So, um, yeah. So, first of all, just created the scene for you. Uh, several years ago, I was working as a, a stroke ward SHO uh, in one of the hospitals down south. I'm not going to name the name, just in case, okay. So, um, I was... I was. I remember I was doing a ward round, and I was just writing up some notes on my own. And uh, OT came by, and she said, "Hey, how are you?" I'm like, yeah, "Good, good, thanks." And she said, "Oh, well, you know what happened to me in that that side room several weeks ago." I'm like, "What?" And she said, "Well, well, before I go further, do you believe in ghosts or anything supernatural?" And I'm like, "Well, I do believe in it, but you know, you just tell me anyway. What's going on?" And uh, just to let you know, if you've never been to a hospital before, obviously you've got the main wards, uh, which are you know several beds in a row and several uh, probably six to eight beds in a big room. And you generally in a ward you get several rooms like that, but you also have side rooms, um, which are normally for patients who are quite unwell or uh, they've got some sort of infection that they don't want to spread it to other people. So and she said, oh well, you know. Um, Several weeks ago, I went to see a lady in that side room uh, for some exercise. Um, and when I got in there, she just didn't act right. Well, now, first of all, this OT has seen this lady several times because she, she has been providing exercise for her after stroke. So they, they do know each other very well. So, so what the OT was trying to describe was uh, the lady was really worried and scared. And she kept on staring at the corner of the wall and she did, the, the OT didn't know why. So the OT said, hey, what, what what's going on, you know? Uh, I thought that we were just doing exercise today. Uh, what are you worried about? And she said, Sh she's here, she's coming to get me. And in a real panic, and she was keep on pointing at the corner of that wall. And the OT turned around and said, oh, what? there's no one there. Who Who's there? No one's going to get you. It's only me. And But she kept on pointing and saying that the woman's there to get her. And she tried to describe how she looks like, just basically stereotypical, you know, long black hair, you know, dark dress and stuff like that. So the OT thought that either, you know, the patient was was sleeping earlier on and now dreaming and she dreamt about a lady like that or she was hallucinating. Not sure, but she she trying to calm down the patient. So she said, look, you know, let me get rid of her for you. OK. And she turned around and said, oh, just go away. You know, don't bother her. So she's like, okay, fine, she's all gone now, it's all right. And somehow the woman got even more scared. And she's like, no, seriously, she's right there. And what what it transpired was that, you know, the, the patient kept on shouting, she's there, she's there, just right behind you now. And, and in fact, she described that the woman was resting her head on top of the OT's shoulder. So... <clears throat> The OT was like, well, okay, well, never mind. Then I don't think that I can calm her down, but we'll just try and do some exercise and, and let her rest and see how things go. And somehow uh, the next day, the lady passed away. So it probably is a coincidence, but that was quite scary. The fact that she kept on saying someone's trying to get her and she, you know, she did say that she d doesn't want to go. And somehow the next day she passed away. So is it some sort of spirit coming to kind of... Uh, take her away or is it like you know how how people said there's there's reaper and stuff like that so you know interesting coincidence isn't it uh, but it always kind of gets stuck in my mind when I whenever I think about you know when people are really unwell and they said they're hallucinating so are they really hallucinating or did they actually see something no one's going to prove that but you know just an interesting thought to share with you really all right